So now you're wondering how are you going to hand in this project that you've just created uh, to your professor for it to be uh, graded as an assignment. Uh, well, there's a number of ways to share processing sketches, but the way that I prefer that we do this uh, for course purposes is by simply copying and pasting the text from the editor. Uh, this this will help limit the file size and this will help uh, make your uh, your sketches a lot more portable uh, moving between um, from one machine to the other. Uh, so if you just go into processing here and uh, simply uh, the easiest thing to do is edit select all okay um, that will actually select your entire sketch all of the code associated with it and then if you go edit copy or copy as HTML works fine as well but stick with copy at first okay then you're gonna slide over to uh, blackboard okay and if you're looking at our first assignment you may have noticed that you do so you got this basic drawing assignment you want to hand this in okay click on the assignment link okay and then as you scroll down, there's going to be something here called a text submission, okay? Uh, you want to go ahead and write a submission that way, okay? And just like you would if you were typing up a paragraph, go ahead and click on the editor and uh, type, you, could type, you could type into here, but what we're going to do is actually paste the text that we have from our uh, processing computer program, okay? Um, if you scroll down, there's also the ability for you to add comments. You can go ahead and type in comments right here about... Uh, you know this uh, what it is that you accomplished is, uh, with this uh, program okay and then you can uh, head down to the bottom and hit submit okay and it should uh, add it uh, send it to me uh, so that I can grade it okay um, now the assignment function in Blackboard is really good for handing stuff into the professor, but what if you want to share things back and forth between your fellow uh, students? Uh, that's where the discussion board can actually come in handy. Uh, you can ask questions here um, and feel free to augment your code once you've pa uh, pasted it into a discussion board post uh, with questions, or you could actually use commenting for various lines. But this will actually help you see what I see when I get your code on the other side of things, okay? So on Blackboard here, we have our discussion boards uh, in the left-hand column. Uh, if you click here, this is just a place for you to post questions and answer each other's questions and ask me questions. And sometimes if I get emails, I'll post the responses here as well. But I've created a little thread here just to demonstrate what this pasted uh, code will look like for me. And as you'll notice, there's a lot of the returns that are, are missing, which is a problem for me as a human for read readability, but it's not really a problem for the computer in terms of readability. So I'm just going to select this text, copy it, and flip back over to processing. If I paste it, what you'll notice when I hit uh, the run button is it'll actually run this code no problem without uh, any problem uh, from the fact that the returns are missing. Okay, uh, if I go ahead and quit that, uh, what I can do to make it a little more readable, so if you're pulling code examples uh, from other students, uh, things that are shared, things that people are asking questions about, or even code examples that I've pushed for you to look at. Um, you can go ahead and under edit, you'll see that there's an option called auto format. This will try to go go through and figure out your code and give you returns uh, necessary to make it your code a little more human readable, okay? Which is a nice thing. We want to be able to read the code uh, and interpret what's going on. Um, but that's it. That should uh, help you um, with these basic uh, beginning assignments, being able to to copy and paste your code. Um, if it becomes more pro problematic, we'll look into some other options, including uh, attaching files. But for now, just copying and pasting the text into the uh, discussion board or the assignment written text portion will be how we hand in code examples.